All right. We're back on IG Live. Another WABA conversation. Where she knows her sports. I'm your lovely host, Helen Bohanna. And today's guest is the boss lady herself, CEO um, and brand, Miss Shannon Nichelle. We're about to try this again. And I'm about to put her back on. And we're going to go from there. Okay. All right, here we go. You know, <laughs> we said great. The and IG not wanting us to be great, but it is okay. It's okay. Yes, it's all good. I know I'm, I can hear you now. Um, a little bit um, for those who tuned back in where we left off. Um, sure. We're gonna we're gonna pick up where we left off, and then I'm gonna just rewind it back. Okay. Um, so Sounds how good. how is the Maryland Jewels connected in with the community? Okay, so our team, the Maryland Jewels, we are connected in this community, um, mainly PG County, um, some Alexandria and sometimes Montgomery County as well. Um, our goal here is to work with the youth. That's my primary um, focal point when it comes to the community events. Um, also, uh, young girls, young athletes, um, all ages really, uh, we want to continue to positive role model for them. I may invite young teams to come out to our games or um, go volunteer at different events or speak at a camp or show our presence in the community. But once again, we do have a lot of what we're looking forward to in the next year. Right now, one of our staple things that we do every year is our breast cancer awareness uh, showcase and charity games, um, as well as our school supplies drive and book bag giveaway. So that's something that, you know, with my nonprofit, Hoops and High Heels. So we have uh, more space than when, when a lot of the restrictions and things have settled a little bit, we're going to get into some programs. Um, so okay. the goal really is just to have players from the team, um, people from our executive staff um, to come out and participate and volunteer when they can. Mm -hmm. um, but primarily we want to work in partnership with uh, our different partners now that we've uh, accumulated this year. So that's a blessing, um, okay. having a couple of new partners and um, really just continue to spread love and light throughout the community. But our goal is to, um, continue to focus on um, young athletes um, from a developmental standpoint, from an education standpoint, and from oh, scholarship yeah, standpoint. So tomorrow. that those are our main those are our main goals exactly. So those are our main focuses. That's why we um, work with the book bag giveaway, the textbook scholarship fund, and the school supplies drive. In addition to just helping kids get community service hours and. Being an example, um, that's also a good way to stay involved in the community, to just be available for uh, kids to meet you and speak with you and play with you. Oh, yeah, because, you know, they're, they're the next generation. They're the future. So, you know, it takes a village. you got to mold them. You know, I understand exactly, it starts yeah. at home. But, you know, with having, uh, <laughs> like, community support, of course, it, you know, these get, these kids will be like on state. They'll be in good hands. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. So to rewind it back a little bit, uh, you know, you can shorten it. Um, can you reintroduce yourself and your brand yeah. and, and tell us about the yeah. Maryland tools, please? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we'll, we'll circle back for all of you guys. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Um, so I am uh, my Full name is Shannon Michelle Bryant. That is who I am. Um, my business platform, uh, formerly known as Shannon Michelle LLC, um, is now called Swag Sports, which is my sports management agency enterprise that encompasses all of my endeavors and business properties within the sports industry, which includes the Maryland Jewels um, and my nonprofit, Hoops and High Hills Incorporated. So um, I 
work a full-time job as a financial management consultant. And when I'm not doing that, I am working as Shannon Michelle, the sports management professional. Um, yes. This is my first full year serving as a WMBA certified agent. Um, and I'm also a newly certified FIBA agent. So for right now, uh, I wear so many hats. It's just easier to um, be Shannon Michelle. The brand is about um, advocating for women in sports from the WNBA yes. down to the youth sports and back, uh, helping players find unique top opportunities, whether that be overseas or domestically, um, running the Maryland Jewels organization and really trying to build it up to be a consistent and sustainable program in our area, especially for PG County. Um, and uh, being the director of Hoops and IOS as we continue to raise money for our scholarship fund um, to help kids purchase textbooks and yeah, so it's it's a lot to it, but overall, you know, it all falls under that sports management umbrella. Um, and the brand is Shannon Michelle. That is who I am. That's what I represent when I have my sports management hat on. So I'm the agent and the, and the team owner, and you know, the community advocate. And I'm gonna always advocate for women in sports. <laughs> If you don't oh, know yeah. anything else you about me, that's what I do. That black girl magic. You better spread it. <laughs> <laughs> so with all of that broken down and, uh, you know, you got right to the point to let us know who you are and um, about your team, with sports having one of the biggest influences in the world, um, as a CEO, from a CEO standpoint, um, have you thought of any particular ways that you want to take a stand to rep I mean, as the Maryland Jewels team? Uh, like I'm for, sorry. Like I, for, I, you know, I, the WNBA, they're taking a stand with the hashtag, you know, uh, say her name. Oh, in regards to yeah. social justice initiatives and things like that. Um, oh, yeah. Absolutely. So I think uh, the team, Maryland Jewels as a whole, we're going to continue to kind of share black stories and stand for um, equality, racial equality, but also um, women's rights and just kind of protecting women, more importantly, protecting black women. Um, that's something that needs to continue to happen, especially throughout the sports industry uh, from players to executives. There is still a lack of um, respect and also uh, deserving reverence or compensation. So um, those are the things that I kind of focus on from an organizational standpoint. How can we all, you know, put each other on a positive platform and continue to uplift? I don't have a hashtag for you yet, but um, individually, I know players that have kind of been with me over the last two to three years, um, mm -hmm. they take stands on their own. Um, they're really good about that. They, you know, some of them participate in protests or they may do social media um, participation and be vocal that way. Um, mm -hmm. And then others lead. Others on my team, I have players who coach, players who mentor. Um, so hopefully, you know, as we continue to build our roster and move into 2021, we can just further expand and get more exposure on that. But um, I'm always open and willing to support everything my players are doing, current and former. Oh, yeah, that's, hey, you know, sticking together. You know, alone you can only do so much. Together you can do a lot. So that's that's Absolutely. great to hear. Um, with with the worldwide pandemic and, and the new civil rights movement, do you see any change coming? Like, do you see any happening, like, in the near future? Uh, well, it's a lot of change to be had. So mm -hmm. in my opinion, I think uh, change is constant. Uh, right now, the focus is on arresting the officers who killed Breonna Taylor. The focus is on exactly. getting justice for Sandra Bland. Um, the focus is, is really on, you know, we're kind of retroactively trying to get justice for uh, women who weren't protected. And so that's why protect black women is so important to me. Um, I think as we move forward, I do see change happening, but we have to keep um, 
fighting. We have to keep our voices exactly. out there. Yeah, because um, change can happen in an instance, but what will happen next, um, we can go right back to the same problem um, exactly. with history repeating itself. And it's just a, a large uh, problem to tackle. It's a, a big arena and it's different ways that different members of the black community and of other communities are trying to attack it. So the key mm. to change for me, I think would be consistency. Um, we have to be genuine when we speak up about these things and make sure that we're doing it for the right reasons because that will kind of result in your consistency and your passion. And then also we just need to continue to spread our voice but make sure that we're staying on message. I think change will happen and we just have to stay consistent and not just move on to the next hot topic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So to revert back, because um, you're saying staying consistent, and of course, um, your communities will um, be affected by this and everything. So yeah. with the, the season being canceled and with um, everyone, you know, just individually or together, taking a stand for um, the social injustice. How are, um, as a, a team and organization, how are you all communicating within one another? Like, uh, how I think you can out to one another and, and staying in contact. Um, I, I'm, I'm pretty accessible uh, to all of my team members, even the executive staff. So, I mean, they're comfortable calling um, or texting. That's good. Um, e I, I send emails out um, for like updates or just to kind of uh, provide updates on what's going on you know like for COVID for example with the season things have been happening so fast um, so mm -hmm. I, I provide like updates overall in that manner but um, one on one I'm, I'm very accessible to my players um, like I said current and former players I have no problem reaching out and checking in on them. They can give me a call anytime or text. And um, some players are not comfortable being out in crowds yet, so they, you know, may not protest. Um, and others are open to it and do it. So I support both. Um, everybody has their own way of fighting injustice. So I kind of keep it very open and up to the players on what they want to do. And I just make sure, you know, we stand behind them in whatever way. And also we're continuing to rebuild our roster. So I have a few players that, you know, will, will be returning as vets. Um, but any any potential players or prospects, they're all a part of the Jewels community. So mm -hmm. however they want to carry it, as long as we're being respectful, um, I, I'm here to support it. Okay. So how do you maintain your everyday mentality, both personally and professionally? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, so how do I maintain my mentality, huh? Yes. So I think I was joking with my, my friend the other day about this. Uh, so prayer, listen. Yes. I have to stay grounded um, because in my intro, you've heard that I do so much. <laughs> um, so with that, with that comes a very hectic schedule, a very complex um, list of things to do, I should say. So for me, maintaining a, a clear mind allows me to be creative because my critical thinking is my creative tool. I say that a lot. And so in order to use that properly, I need sleep. Um, I need to be tapped into what I'm working on at that moment. So being yeah. in the agency field, um, the management field, team management, and then also working with sports events and communities, trying to navigate all of that and balance the partnerships and collaborations um, takes effort. But it's important for me to stay sane, uh, to yeah. organize it, prioritize it, and you can only focus on one thing at a time in that sense. Um, multitasking is necessary, but when it comes to really keeping a strong mental space, I have to have my personal me days, you know, and also I just have to make sure I stay grounded and spiritually connected um, because that is what's going to keep me motivated. That's what's going to keep me going. And that's what's going to help me combat 
um, a lot of the things that <laughs> will come at you when you are a female in this industry, uh, just period. There's a lot of uh, second guessing um, for potential opportunities or, you know, you just, it might not be as easy, you know? So you always have to come at it from that perspective. And I was built on, you know, the, the terms, you know, you have to work twice as hard. Um, so I just try to keep the pressure very even kill, very level. I do have stressful days, but from a mental health standpoint, I think it's very important to handle that first. Um, take care yeah. of yourself first. Um, I believe in balance, mind, body, and soul. And once I'm good in all those three areas, I'm most effective and productive. Yes, it all begins with <laughs> the mental body. So, so yes. right now, how is the how is the um environment there like in the Maryland area is it still chaotic a little bit has it calmed down mm -hmm. you mean in in regards to the pandemic yeah in, in regards okay. to the pandemic mm -hmm. um so right now uh we are I believe in phase three um we just entered phase three recently like in the last couple of days uh mm -hmm. is it hectic I'm going to say in maybe certain areas of Maryland, uh, it may be hectic. Um, being Something had to happen because our uh, governor just put out a mandatory executive order on us oh. to make sure everybody has their mask on. And I was like, I thought we were already doing that. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. so, um, so I guess, you know, the extra measures had to be taken to make sure people aren't getting a little too excited because it is summertime and it's starting to get hot here. The exactly. first half of the pandemic, it was out. still kind of cool, so it wasn't really summertime weather yet. Now it's, you know, it's nice. People want to be outside. Um, so we just have to make sure we're staying healthy. Um, our facilities are slowly opening with restrictions. There is mm -hmm. no competitive uh, play yet for, like, basketball, soccer just yet. Um, but we're getting started on that soon, I want to say – this weekend or next week that's allowed with restrictions with uh sanitation restrictions um mm -hmm. no guests in the crowd a lot of things like that that uh kind of similar to how the league um WNBA and NBA are running their league okay so um yeah so overall from a community standpoint though um there's been a lot of great activity going on within the community um actually my partners and also um some other organizations have been working with the community to have food drives, uh, canned foods, uh, every, everything of that nature. Um, and there have been fitness activities, uh, different things where people are able to socially distance, uh, mm -hmm. keep their mask on, but still come out and be a part of their community and still feel like they, you know, are not stuck or stuck in the yeah. house. But uh, very important. Yes. <laughs> Everyone in the comments, I agree. So, um, yeah, we all are still wearing our masks. We need to keep wearing our masks. But as far as activities, they're making sure that there are restrictions and temperature checks and things of that nature. Okay, great. Um, also, to let you know, if you were unaware, um, if you have any, like, community resourceful uh, information, you can uh, reach out to Marsha um and let her know and um they'll she'll repost it and also it can be placed on the website because you know um okay, within this pandemic you know people are looking for food or maybe organizations that's helping with um finances like uh helping with rent and bills and like right. you mentioned earlier, school supply drives and things of that nature so um i just wanted to put okay. that out Case thank you. you. No, absolutely. Uh, thank you for that reminder. Yes. So we're actually um, something that I'm looking to do soon. Um, I'm kind of collecting items now and I already had collected a few um, before the pandemic. Um, so I'll make sure I kind of get something out to you guys. We're um, collecting hygiene, uh, feminine hygiene products um, to go out to our women, our um, who don't have the resources, and also um, I have a friend who works at a shelter for underprivileged youth and women. So um, okay. that's something that we're working on right now, trying to collect, uh, you know, toiletries, hygiene products, you know, things that some people may not be able to afford, especially under these circumstances. So I'll make sure I get those details out to you guys. That would be great. Hey, 
Okay, cool. And for those um, who just tuned in, how would they, if someone want to donate, how would they be able to donate to your um, hygiene drive? Um, so you can just contact me either through Marilyn Jewel's email or um, when I put out the flyer, anything kind of updating that information, you can just hit me up via that, uh, that flyer. So um, basically to catch everybody up, um, one of the things that we're trying to get done in the community right now, um, I'm trying to revamp, restart, because we did one earlier this year. So I want to mm -hmm. do another drive to collect feminine hygiene products um, and toiletries to kind of help our women in shelters and women in need during the pandemic. So more to come on that. Okay, great. Um, and reverting back to the team and uh, sponsoring and donating and things of that nature. Um, before you know it, the, the 2021 season uh, is cooking up. We only got four more months between now and and when the when next season resume. Um, um, is there any way that a business organization or the Maryland Jewels? Um, again, do you have any for coaches? Um, when are you looking to host a um, like a team tryout for okay um, so, so, so just some kind of overall general updates right so um for mm -hmm. the Maryland Jewels right now we kind of have our trials on hold um we will probably okay. host tryouts uh sometime towards uh this fall um mm -hmm. so I will be putting out information on that because again we want to kind of have and uh kind of start our preparation for this 2021 season and also get involved in some com competitive activities in the spring and summer leading up to it. Um, okay. So more to come on that. That's really kind of just pending uh, PD County and our executive decisions on, you know, what's allowed and what's not. So okay. I think we'll be good, you know, to kind of have trials in the fall at some point. Um, okay. Something else you asked was, sponsors um, and yeah, openings, like how, right? How can an organization or an individual uh, partner with your team or sponsor? It? Okay. Right. So um, we are welcoming all sponsors. That would be great. Uh, we can always use assistance, especially when it comes to our budget. Um, sponsors can reach out um, via email, but also you can visit the website. So our, our team organization website is JewelsNation.com, um, dot org. Sorry, JewelsNation.org, and um, I'm actually in the middle of updating it right now, but it's still active and, and available. And there's a contact us link for you to click if you would like to get involved. Um, and that is if you're trying to get involved on our executive staff as a coach or work with our uh, executive team on the business side, um, behind the scenes. Um, we have two internships open for okay. uh, media. And, uh, you know, uh, media and game operations and logistics, that kind of thing. So that's something that we're kind of looking for to increase our staff. Um, from a coach perspective, um, we uh, have an opening for assistant coach. Uh, it's not something that's a high priority on our list, but if anybody is interested, feel free to reach out um, on our website. It's in the chat there at jewelsnation.org. And if you want to get involved in any way, you can just let us know uh, from partnerships to just collaborating on an event or if you would like to just donate because um, we are a 501c3 um, coded as an organization. We are a not-for-profit um, organization. So anything you do um, to support us will be tax deductible. <laughs> Okay. So that's a okay. fun fact for you there. Um, but yeah, more to come on tryouts. Um, it should be sometime this fall. Right now, we're looking to participate in an upcoming league if we get it kicked off. So that would be great if anybody's interested in playing right now. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean you made the team. It just gives you an opportunity to kind of meet some players that will be on my team and also get some hooping in. I'll be playing in it as well. So um, that's just something to kind of keep us active and involved and in tune with the community. 
Try so check out the website. Everything is on the website for us. It's under construction. But if you're interested in any way, you can just click get involved and contact us. And me or somebody from my executive team will get back to you. Okay. And, and speaking of um, the upper season and, and people getting involved, um, now that, you know, everybody is behind the scenes, basically in the whole league, behind the scenes, <laughs> cooking, up, cooking up, cooking up, you know, putting their own ingredients in, in, in their own pot. When it comes to the 2021 season, when it kick off, what is mm. one word that comes to your mind on how the Maryland Jewels is going to come out? Hmm. I would say I would like violent assassins in that way because we're not favored to win in this area right now. Um, we're kind of the underdogs of this side of town, with DC being the recent champs. So I would say um, one of the one of the good things about uh, my vets that are going to be returning, as well as um, what we're looking for in recruiting, is everybody is going to kind of have that same mentality. We have something to prove. It's comeback season, you know. It's grind season, and oh, yeah. you know we want to we're gunning for that championship. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, right with the champion. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I like to say is uh, it kind of comes top down, right? So kind of how I carry myself, I'm tunnel vision. I'm not really focused on the noise around me. Um, so yeah. when it comes to the team organization, I'm focused on us, how we can get better every year, how we can continue to develop this organization and build a sustainable roster that can just exactly. continue to get better and better over time. And so with that, I mean, just look out for us. That's why I say side and assassin, because you're not going to hear me do a lot of trash talking. Uh -oh, you're not going to hear uh -oh, me do a lot of that. Um, and, you know, that's pretty much how, how the vibe goes through through a lot of my players. You know, we got some hot heads on there that, you know, like to get it going from that standpoint. But overall, it's more about watching us work. So I think that's a, a, a good way to put it. Like, watch us work on the floor. We're going to show it on the court. Um, you might hear us a little bit, but not too much. It's going to be all about just assassinating everybody we come across hey. on the court. <laughs> all right, pal. I'll hit that buzz out. Yeah, one of my guards <laughs> in the chat right now. I know she feels what I'm talking about. She was on that 2018 team. <laughs> okay, so, okay. yeah, so that, that's the goal right there. Just look out for us on that issue. You're not, you might not hear us, but you're going to see us when we come. Y'all, uh, y'all. Oh, y'all not about all that talk, huh? With that action, your actions speak louder, huh? <laughs> that's what we that's what we here to prove. <laughs> okay, okay. So now before we go, um for those who tuned in, for those who will tune in, can you close us out with it with an encouraging word? Sure. Um <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so uh thank you all for tuning in and thank you in advance to those that's going to catch this uh, on she knows her sports page um i guess i can leave you with um something that i kind of am carrying right now and it also aligns with my brand and my goal right what is shane in the show who is shane in the show continue to protect black women do you hear me? Continue to protect black women. We need it. Um, there is so much that's tipped the scale in this world when it comes to us. When it comes to the sports industry, continue to just motivate and participate. There's a, and as you can see, I'm rocking my WNBA hoodie today um, just to kind of harp on that a little bit more. The WNBA has started. The WABA, we don't have a season right now, but when it comes to women in sports, it's across the board. It's across the board, okay? So um, you can watch, tune in and watch um, old games replayed on the WNBA website. You can turn on the TV and WNBA games right now that's being covered nationally. Support, support, support. 
women in sports and then protect our black women. We still need justice for Breonna Taylor. We still need justice for Sandra Bland. Make sure you guys just are staying true to yourself. Continue to work hard. I appreciate the love. I'm going to continue to stay humble and just kind of focus on growth personally and then professionally. And hopefully it continues to leave a positive and inspirational impact. Show love. That's the, that's the way that we're going to continue to grow and make an impact. Sticking together. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we back, I do believe. And thank you so much for those who just tuned in, or those who will tune in. Um, we just got this encouraging word from <laughs> the brand herself, the boss lady, the CEO, the thank um, you. sports agent, the phenomenal black woman who keep raising the bar and stepping over it and raising the bar again and stepping over it some more. <laughs> I just want to personally say thank you, thank you, thank you so much uh, for this interview. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your knowledge. And um, to revert back to the beginning of our interview because of technical difficulties, but yeah. we pushed through. Um, thank you for tuning in to uh, a WABA conversation here on IG Live where she knows her sports. I am your lovely host, Helen Bohan. And I got one more thing um, for you. For you. If you want to, if you, you want to follow my, um, I was just going to say, this is the Maryland Jewels team page. You can keep, you know, up to date when we post updates and different things going on in the community. Um, I know we haven't posted in a while, but just be patient with us. We're working some things behind the scene, like I said earlier. But if you also want to follow my personal business page um, to kind of get more insight into what I do outside of, um, you know, my nine to five, like what I do overall from a holistic perspective, like Maryland Jewels, agency, sports management, um, or you just want to kind of be a part of my social network, you can follow me at Shan Sports on Instagram as well and follow the team page at Maryland.Jewels. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Helen. Right. And to piggyback and piggyback off of her, uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the women's ABA, it is a professional basketball league that extends the platform for uh, women basketball players who want to continue to live out their dream and become a professional or at least plan overseas. And if you want to know more, please log on to womensaba.com or follow them here on Instagram at Women's ABA for more um, on the league, what's going on, um, resource for opportunities in communities. Um, also, they have 24 teams so far within 17 states, including Mexico, um, Tijuana to be exact. <laughs> um, so, again, if you are looking Thank you. Please um, show your support by far and also logging on to women's. Well, that, there goes the interview. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it and look forward to getting to know more players and coaches and owners around the league. Stay blessed. And again, support us here at She Knows Her Sports or Women's ABA. Have a blessed day.